Oh, she loves it. <laughs> so I don't know if you could tell, but it's absolutely sweating hot outside right now. And I like ice cream because I'm a normal human being, as, as do all we want ice cream, I'm sure. And being a fitness channel, obviously I need to try and make ice cream healthy. So I conjured up a couple of ideas, came up with a strawberry, vanilla and chocolate that you can make at home. Easy, simple, cheap and very healthy for you to do. Basically, you need a chopping board to cut up your bananas. Because it is healthy, the banana is going to be the base of the ice cream. This is what gives it the ice cream kind of texture. Then we got uh, maple syrup as well. Almond, unsweetened almond milk. We got cocoa powder for the chocolate flavour and vanilla extract for the vanilla flavour. And then strawberries because strawberry flavour is also boss as well. So that is all you need to make these ice creams however I'm going to show you the method to do this right now so basically unpeel all bananas to do eat all of these flavors if you want to do them the way I'm doing it you need nine bananas all together what is important for your bananas to actually make this ice cream taste nice is to make sure they are actually a little bit black um, green bananas there'll be just be there'll be no sugar or sweetness taste to it so obviously the blacker they are the bit more there's a lot more glucose from the banana so you want to cut them up nice and small almost like a coin size so nice and small something like that how many times did you want to eat ice cream but you couldn't because you're say on a diet or something like that this is a great alternative for you to actually eat some ice cream that will taste pretty damn good as well also you want to do the same thing with your strawberries on a cup full of these bad boys so cup is this thing full and then one for the lips because they're nice so cut these bad boys exactly the same as the bananas better go well Swear. So we're going to lob these in the freezer, give it two hours, and then come back and show you what ne what happens next. Okay, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, I can't be bothered to make any healthy ice cream, but what I can do is give you an alternative for one of my secrets. This is ice cream, the closest tasting ice cream to normal ice cream, but being 80 calories per bar. I know I'm not endorsed, I'm not I'm not sponsored or anything by these people, okay? This is genuinely one of my secrets if because I love ice cream, okay? I'm a, I'm a human being. Everyone loves ice cream. This is a great thing for diet. So it's Halo Top ice cream. So it says there's a source of protein because there is protein in there and it's sea salt caramel flavor. 80 percent 80 there's 80 calories in this bar so per bar there's 1.6 grams of fat carbohydrates 8.9 grams which again is non-existent almost four grams of fiber in it which is really good as well and protein there's four grams of protein do you know what I mean this thing is absolutely epic if i could make an ice cream brand it would be something like this so this has got less calories than one banana and there's three bars in one box approximately 10 hours later okay so it's been two hours now the bananas are nice and solid and these bad boys are going to go straight into the blender okay so you want to lob in three bananas you want to get in there nice and quick because you don't want it to be too mushy so vanilla extract lob that straight in uh maple maple syrup whack that bad boy straight in there the unsweetened almond milk as well it'd be as simple as blending in up so if he's having a bit of trouble, just dab it in there like that. So that's what it looks like now. Just want to pop it into the tray. This is the vanilla flavor. So this is ready to go in the freezer. So what I'm going to do, just literally separate this. And you want to be fast with this, putting it from the blender into here because it will go really, it will liquidify really fast. So what I'll do as I blend up the other one with the strawberry and chocolate, I'll put this back in the freezer like so, lean it to one side so it will stay on one side. So again, got the strawberry and bananas out, strawberry flavor. So you wanna be fast so it doesn't go all liquidy. So you wanna grab all your strawberries and then the two bananas that go in there as well. So I estimate this. So that's about two bananas, two teaspoons of maple syrup, and then two tablespoons of almond milk, like so. Got to be fast here, guys. We've got to be fast. All right, so then we grab the plate, separate it well, and then this one goes straight in there like so. 
So that's your second layer of ice cream. And then that's gonna go in the, it back in the freezer, just like that. So a word of warning, I would give it at least 10, maybe 15 minutes between to put it in the freezer so it stays solid as you go through because it takes a little bit of time to put it up, blend it up. It might take 10 minutes, which then it will really, really liquefied. And um, it won't obviously be more like ice cream, it'll be more like soup. So I would say that. Oh, a good tip to do 10 minutes between, 10, 15 minutes. So you make the vanilla, put that in, 10, 15 minutes into the, into the freezer. Take it out, do the strawberry. And now I'm about to do the chocolate. So I've got everything ready. So it happens nice and smoothly. So the bananas go in. I also put these back in the freezer as well as I'm going because they will get really liquefied as we go. And again, you want to still be quick here. So I've already mixed up. I put three to four tablespoons of cocoa powder, two teaspoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of almond milk. Land this bad boy up. There you have it, the chocolate flavor looks absolutely delish. Now you wanna go grab the plate. Mm. It tastes good as well. Boom, so it's ready to go in to the freezer for two hours and then settle and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. So there we have it. The ice cream of dreams, unhealthiness and all in its glory. It's not as beautiful as I was hoping it would be. But it's done, dusted. Give me a spoon. Let's give this a go, right? I'm hoping this will look good because if it isn't, it's been in the freezer a while. Ooh. Who wants to take Schwick? Me. Oh, she loves it. <laughs> there you go, all done, dusted. Try it out yourselves. If there's any questions, comment down below. Um, but that is it. It's as simple as that. 